Uh, hi, I'm David Sarver. I'm in North Niles in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, just addressed the uh, American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. And, and really my title was uh, Orthodontics has changed and what you as a dentist uh, really want to know about how it's changed. And, and really my, my major points were one, uh, we, we know that today uh, what we do extensively in dentistry is very interdisciplinary. Uh, I can remember when I started in orthodontics a uh, long time ago, uh, you know, I never, I, I went to lunch with dentists to uh, try and schmooze patients out of them. Uh, now they're working the sessions, you know, because we have so many things to offer our patients as a profession that I can't uh, really treat a patient to its successful outcome, to a really successful outcome without the help of, of other people, surgeons, dentists, uh, and, and everybody and it's really been a lot of fun because you see the outcomes uh, just blossom into things that you didn't know you would ever be able to get when you came out of school 20 something years ago or maybe 10 years ago or something like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, my role as an orthodontist, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about who should be in charge of the treatment plan and I think it depends very much on, on what the problem is uh, and, and as an orthodontist, uh, I feel like I'm the, the, the leader of the treatment planning team in uh, certain types of cases, but in a lot of cases I consider myself, as I said in the lecture, uh, kind of a setter like in volleyball, that my job is to take what you send me and boop it up for you so you can spike the ding out of it and get a good outcome. Uh, and then the other thing that I was kind of focused a lot on was that uh, when we go through dental school we kind of play by the rules and, and you know that's how you get to the top of your class or that's how you don't get in trouble or that's how you graduate and and really rules uh, to use the cliche rules are meant to be broken and so uh, uh, I, I left it with everyone to challenge yourself to see things differently and push yourself outside the box that you've been living in and see what you can do to really enhance your patient's health uh, and their aesthetics which health uh, and aesthetics kind of go hand in hand.